For those who may not have seen the previous interview, for those who may not have seen our previous conversations, I simply ask again. That's fine. Here's a simple question. Should should Hamas stay in power? Because Israel's whole argument is that they have to keep going with this warfare to eradicate Hamas. And my question for you is, do you think that, in principle, Hamas should stay in power? Well, Piers, I'm going to answer you because I never fear the truth. And I'm not going to try to evade your question. I only deal in facts. Let's take a simple metric. We'll take the question of children killed. Oh my God, answer the question. Should Hamas stay in power? These are answers to different questions. Just answer the question, Norm, for God's sake. You said you don't want to evade the truth. Should Hamas stay in power or not? Answer the question. Piers, either you're going to moderate the program or- Oh my God, but he's not going to answer it. Bro, it's such an easy question. How are you even debating on the level of the clown on the right? Shut him down. He was wrong on the ICJ. He should have crucified him. He should have made him, he should have made him stick that up. You're saying the ICJ ruled that there was no genocide? You're telling me they were able to ascertain that charge in one month, Rabbi? What a ridiculous claim. You should have raked him over the closest. Why is he not just answering this question? There's honestly no point in continuing. I do think it's you a very, have I, have to say, I have to say, I do think it's a very simple question. And it goes right to the heart. No, it's not. It goes right it, to the heart of Israel's argument about, okay. about why they are continuing Piers, to execute the war. Piers. Pierce, how about letting me decide whether it's a simple question? How about letting me decide? Well, either Hamas so stays in power or it doesn't, doesn't okay. it? I don't no, think you have to no, be a professor I, to answer the question. Pierce, 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 there's a difference between whether or not Hamas stays in power and whether Hamas should be in power. So let me get into st- the stays in power is a military question. Should be in power, well, let's look at it. I say if Hamas, which is responsible for the killings of 30... He's going to give the numbers of people that Hamas has killed and say, if Hamas is responsible for this many deaths and we're saying they should be removed from power, well, then the IDF, who's killed 29,000 civilians, should absolutely be removed from power first. Something like that. Here we go. Six children on October 7th should not stay in power. Then you must certainly agree, peers, and I'm going to kindly ask you to please answer me. You must surely agree then that Israel, which has killed now approximately 12,000 children, children yeah. and is plausibly accused of having killed them in the course of a genocide. Now, I'm going to ask you, Piers, to what please What is your source for 12,000 children? Question. What's the source? Dude, what is your source, please? Okay. What's your source? Piers, what is the Palestinian please, Council? He didn't even, like, he didn't even get to ask uh, Piers the question while Finkelstein is dodging the question, and now this guy wants to fight over the sourcing of the debt pro. Uh to run by Hamas, we know that. Run by Hamas. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no run by Hamas. You don't interrupt. Scholar. This is actually an important question and an important moment of the debate. Continue, Norman Finkelstein. So I have to ask you, Piers, if you believe that Hamas should not stay into po- mm-hmm. stay in power because it killed 36 children on October 7th, then you must surely agree several times, thousand times more emphatically, that the Israeli government should not be in power because it killed. 12,000 children, not not as collateral damage. What would your response be to that fencing army if he wheels it out in your debate? It's just like, it's a stupid argument on so many different levels. The Israeli government has shown that it is capable of making peace with its neighbors, even neighbors that it historically had huge fights with. Um, the Israeli government is held democratically responsible by its population. So they, at least there's some pressure there. The Israeli government responds to international pressure. They've shown it in the past historically. They've shown it in the modern conflict now. The Israeli government opens itself up to evaluations from other parties, um, whether it's people doing investigation. The Israeli government has literally, like, like people will say things in chat, like, ah, oh, you trust Israel to, to, uh, to look at itself and to audit itself, blah, blah, blah. I mean, like, um, Haaretz is literally a left-leaning publication that is inside of Israel, like, that a lot of you guys love to cite when it comes to talking about Israeli crimes in the West Bank and blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, the idea, yes, I would trust the Israeli government a billion times more than Hamas, an Islamic jihadist, fundamentalist, organization that answers to nobody, runs itself like a theocratic dictatorship, doesn't hold elections, doesn't respond to international pressure, and lets it around training their troops or sending weapons to go kill Israeli citizens. Like, yeah, of course. Like, it's such an easy, yeah. Like, at, at this, with this level of question, like, well, should the U.S. government remain in power? Should the British government re- remain in power? Should literally any government anywhere in the entire world remain in power? Because they probably killed more people than Hamas. Such a stupid question. But plausibly, according to 15 of the 17 judges on the highest judicial body okay, in yeah, the world. Okay, you said that point. Okay, here's my answer. Plausibly, here's my plausibly, answer here's my answer. Here's my answer. Here's my answer. You haven't so far answered my question. If you do, I will give you an emphatic answer to yours. Ooh. So let me just ask again, should Hamas stay in power? My answer is... Before he gives an answer, there is a good complicated question or complicated way to answer this question that is nuanced, takes into account the Palestinian plight, um, and, and satisfies the the... 
the, the prompt that Pierce is given, right? Well, should Hamas remain in power? That's complicated. Hamas was technically voted into power, right? Uh, if you don't like Hamas, okay, fine. Well, what about the Palestinian Authority? Because that's the counter government that you're championing. Well, guess what? Mahmoud Abbas also suspended elections. He hasn't been voted on either. So if you don't like Hamas, you must not like the PA either because neither of these are democratically elected people. Um, you know, if you, if you, what happens if you get rid of Hamas, you hold elections, and then they elect Hamas again? Then what do you do, Pierce? Like, do you deny elections to the Palestinian people? Are they not allowed to elect leadership? What if they want to have, like, a, a theocratic dictatorship, whatever, right? I mean, like, these are technically answers to satisfy this question, and they're more complicated and nuanced, but I don't know why, you, but you can answer these too. Any of these are satisfactory, I think, and they they hint at a little bit of the complicatedness of the situation that is existing on the ground. I don't know why he wouldn't just wheel out any of these explanations, other than the fact that it would take him 10 minutes to, I guess, get through with them. I guess Finkelstein's Finkelstein is about Platt, but Shmuley is definitely bronze-based. To yours. So let me just ask again, should Hamas stay in power? My answer is, if we apply one no, no, standard that's not an answer. across the board... No, that's not an answer. If we, apply, if we apply one standard across the board, I am perfectly happy to say Hamas should be removed from power if you agree that several thousand times yeah, you made more point. emphatically the Israeli government should be removed I from don't think, power. I, well, I think what does that even mean? The Israeli government should be, it's like every single member of the Knesset should be banned and then not allowed to run again? Or you dismantle the entire Israeli government? Or what, like, what does that mean? There are two completely separate questions and I would answer it like this. No, they're not. Well, I'm going to explain, no, to you what, I'm going to explain why I believe they are. Okay. They are. Because, I will listen. Because Israel, listen. Israel's response was a response to an appalling terror attack. I believed after October the 7th, Hamas rescinded any right to continue having any power over Gaza and should be removed. Mm. The only debate would then be how would that best be done? And I have serious question marks about Israel's response. In response to whether the current... Let me finish my sentence, Here's. please. <laughs> <laughs> and in response to your question, Norman Finkelstein, about Israel's government, no, I do not believe they should continue, actually. I think this government has lost the, the uh, faith of its people. I think Netanyahu in particular has lost all confidence and popularity with the Israeli people who blame him for what happened on October the 7th. Uh, and so, no, I don't think they should stay in power, actually. I think both countries should have new, new leadership and new governments. That's my answer. But again, I just okay, come so, back so to you. Norm is saying, you Norm but hang saying on, hang on. I don't equi- I, hang on. I don't equivocate either with the other. You can divorce the two questions. You can say, after October the 7th, should Hamas stay in power, yes or no? And then you can have a question mark about whether this current Israel government should stay in power because of the way they responded. They're two different questions. But you, Norman uh, Finkelstein, so far... Well, hang on. Uh, I, I, wait a second, I, 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 I just want to get one answer out of Norman Finkelstein as to whether you will answer my question about whether Hamas should I stay in power. I just said, Pierce, if you use a single standard across the board... The correct answer is Hamas. Also, the, the real true answer is Hamas shouldn't stay in power because you can't negotiate with Hamas. It's, not, it's just not a good negotiating partner. It's just, and, and they lost. And actually... Um, no, actually, wait. Pierce's, Pierce's answer was correct. They, wait, I think it was Pierce's answer, right? That they lost the right to rule, basically, once they did that attack on October 7th, if you don't account any of the earlier actions. That probably removed any mandate that they would have had to be seen as, like, authentic rulers of a people. That's insane. Pierce, if you use a single standard across the board, then I accept your conclusion. So long as you're being morally as well as legally consistent, Mm -hmm. I have personally no problem with that conclusion. I appreciate that, Destiny. All right. Bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.